Pet elephant meets her friend after a year. Elephants, the largest land mammals on Earth, have an intriguing emotional side to their might. They recognize their reflections in a mirror, grieve over the bodies of dead herd members, and they never forget. For the many baby elephants in a Thailand sanctuary who have forged a friendship with a staff member, it is no different. Like all animals, elephants remember kindness bestowed upon them. Derek, a staffer at Elephant Nature Park in Thailand, has formed a heartening bond with the resident elephants, particularly with a young calf named Kam La. All he has to do is call out her name and she comes running along with her friends. Every morning, Kam La and her friends run toward Derek's tractor to greet him like happy puppies. Derek reaches out his hand to say good morning to the happy elephants. This happy sight is a daily occurrence at the elephant park. Kam La was born at a trekking camp in Kanchanaburi, Thailand to a working mom, Mai Sai Nyern. Taken from her mother, she was tortured so she would submit to human control and then trade as a performing elephant. Thankfully, she was rescued and sent to the sanctuary. Given the social nature of elephants, other nanny elephants are reportedly taking the youngster under their maternal care. From the first day, Derek showed love and kindness to their group and it did not take long for them to love and accept him back. Like Charlert, Elephant Nature Park founder said that the strong bond between the young elephants and their caretakers is partly due to the knowledge that they won't be hurt. Elephant Nature Park is an elephant rescue and rehabilitation center in Chiang Mai Province, northern Thailand. It offers a natural environment for rescued elephants, dogs, cats, buffalo, and other animals. Visitors can feed, walk with, and observe the elephants as they go about their day. It is welcoming to see that the park's elephants don't have to carry people on their backs, unlike at other reserves. Another touching moment. A British zookeeper has shared a fond reunion with an elephant he cared for more than 30 years ago. Peter Adamson was instantly recognized by his old friend Kirsty, an Asian elephant who lived at a Glasgow zoo in the 1970s and 80s. Mr. Adamson was a keeper at Calder Park Zoo and looked after Kirsty during the early 70s before she moved away in 1987. He had lost track of her when she left Scotland but recently discovered that she had moved to Germany and arranged to go and visit her. The two shared a warm hug at their reunion in Germany as Mr. Adamson stroked the elephant and Kirsty curled her trunk around him. Mr. Adamson said, of course, I was wondering if there was any truth to the phrase elephants never forget. That she allowed me to get close and accepted me was a very emotional experience for me. I'll always keep that memory in my heart. Zookeeper said the elephant had probably recognized her former minder by the sound of his voice. The Scotsman said he'll try to visit Kirsty as much as possible now he knows where she lives. Kirsty, born in 1967, has been living in Neunkirchen Zoo in the western state of Saarland since 2005. After leaving Glasgow, she had moved to Chester in northwest England, where she met her female companion Judy for the first time. The pair later moved to Dublin, where they lived together from 94 until 2005, until finally being shipped to Germany. After a colorful life with several moves around European zoos, she has found a retirement retreat with us, her current zookeeper said. The zoo's website describes her as intelligent and willing to learn, but also dominant over members of her species. Mr. Adamson had found Kirsty's whereabouts by searching online and made contact with the German zookeepers through friends in the city of Trier, the zoo said. Calder Park Zoo closed in August 2003 after running up huge debts. It's for a reason animals are said to be loyal companions to humans, and any animal lover will tell you that there's something indescribable and unique about them. To Lloyd the elephant, nothing is more important than family, especially now that she's starting one of her own. In 2006, the orphaned elephant was found all alone at only five months old, and was rescued by the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust SWT in Kenya. She was hand-raised by SWT until she was old enough to return to the wild. Years have passed, but Lloyd Juck still has a close bond with her human family. She returns to the grounds of the sanctuary every month to visit. But in September, Lloyd Juck surprised her former caretakers with a newborn elephant calf in tow. It was clear the proud elephant mom couldn't wait to show off her baby. The calf, who has since been named Lily, was only hours old, likely only born the night before. Lloyd has never forgotten the kindness of those who helped her. She even invited Benjamin Kialo, the head keeper, to have a special moment with her newborn calf. Benjamin was able to get close to Lily who nestled into his legs, stroke her delicate newborn skin and breathe into her trunk, thereby letting her know who he was via his scent, Rob Branford, executive director of SWT, told the dodo. Elephants have an incredible memory and sense of smell and our keepers will often breathe into the orphan's trunk so they can recognize who they are. Lojic has stayed close to the area around the unit, allowing our keepers to watch over her and check how she's getting on, Branford said. Considering September's the peak of the dry season in Savo, not the most favorable conditions for a new baby, we're delighted that Lojic has returned close to home so that we can help supplement her diet when she visits.